So I just found out about this yesterday. But apparently that documentary that's going to cover everything that happened with this comes out pretty soon, actually. And we have some information on it, and I want to go over it because they're trying to play this off as some kind of fair and balanced journalism, and it's anything but. In fact, it seems pretty pretty biased to me when I read over the synopsis of what they plan to do with this. So I want to go over it and talk about it a little bit because it's just more it's more smearing and bad press for him and more kind of this media redemption arc that they're trying to push for her. And what I find funny about this whole both sides thing is he was already vindicated. He was already vindicated by a jury. There are no both sides. The only side that's telling the truth, according to a court of law, is him. But it just never ends. So here's what here's what this article is saying. A two-part documentary about J.D.'s trial against his ex-wife will be released on September 19th on Discovery+. Plus. So that's... that's uh, a little bit sooner than I expected, and it really makes me wonder about the quality of this thing. Not really spending a lot of time putting this together because this is based on the trial, and the trial wasn't even, honestly, it feels like it was that long ago, but it was only, like, what, two months? They put this together in two months? I mean, that's really quick. The quality for this, I can't see being that good. It's almost like, they went into this thinking one way, probably her way. Titled J vs. A, the U.S. Trial, the documentary features interviews with J.D.'s lawyers, legal experts, and journalists, along with behind-the-scenes footage amid the trial, which was held between April and June this year. The first episode will investigate J.D.'s side of the events, covering all the stuff with his childhood, and his dependencies and presenting an alternative version of events that show J.D. to be the victim himself. What do you mean alternative? Uh, According to the trial, it's the truth. The second episode details A.H.'s account, including her detailed description of some things, notably the bottle incident. That's what that is. And then here's this, and how advocates of J.D. mercilessly went after her on social media, as noted in a press release. Does that sound unbiased to you? It sounds like they're going to present one person in a little bit better light. That sounds like A.H., Bias. Bias. Oh, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> I can't wait to see this. This is going to be a shit show, and it's going to be very biased towards towards smearing him. And it's just a reminder that even if a man goes to court and has his day and wins, these clowns will still Call you an abuser. That's the world we live in. The synopsis reads, The series gives a forensic account of the key evidence and turning points of the case from both sides, allowing viewers to make up their own minds about what to believe. And then it goes over the lawsuit and everything that happened here. Not much, but allowing viewers to make up their own mind. He was vindicated, found innocent. I guess there was a little, they, apparently they let them in during the court and had behind the scenes stuff. Why would you do this? It's a bad move. Bad move. I wouldn't let these snakes in at all. 
I wouldn't let these snakes in at all if I were his lawyers. That was a, that was a little bit of a ball drop to assume they would give you any kind of doubt or positive coverage in this. JD was a mistake. This is going to be totally another smear job on you. And it's going to push to make her look good. Just like everything else does in this situation. And if they had come to me, if I was in his shoes and said, you want to make the, can we make this documentary? We want to, you know, bring cameras around an interview. I would told him to get effed, get lost because they never, they never show the man the good side. This one's funny because they're going to not do that. Even after he was vindicated. Wait till they say he won in the trial and then probably put some disclaimer or, like, doubt on it. Which is such bullshit. What a joke. Anyway. Her fans not having a good time. This was on Twitter and hilarious. Uh, Here's one of her biggest supporters saying, When is AH going to win something? We have nothing to cheer about. It makes me frustrated. He keeps winning things and getting more fame. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, that was hilarious. I've actually like, kind of got a really good laugh out of me. So thank you, uh, an elf pirate, for posting this. Because when I first saw it, I, I laughed my ass off. Because it is very, very funny. These don't bother anybody here. Uh, it's just, it's just her supporters are starting to fall apart a little bit. And, you know, it's hard to keep that momentum going when it's just L after L after L after L after L. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.